Hill opens, we find two people living very quietly in a park. You don't know exactly why they're there and who they are. The dad and the daughter, Will and Tom, have cut themselves off from civilization and are living in the forest. And the dad's a veteran and he's suffering with PTSD. The internal scars of war have marked Will in a way in which he finds his peace in nature and has decided to raise his daughter a bit more simply. Will it cook a mushroom? It should cook a mushroom. They're detected since it's public land. They're no longer allowed to live there. You alone out here? My daughter's with me. They're taken out of the park by social services and moved to a house. And their removal from the park causes a new set of issues. I think it might be easier on us if we try to adapt. Wearing their clothes, we're in their house, we're eating their food, we're doing their work. We have adapted. I am drawn to stories where people are not born into any kind of entitlement and privilege. They are working very hard to survive. It's not a crime to be unhoused, but it's illegal to live on public land. Winter Bond was the first time I was introduced to Deborah's work and I loved it. She's an intellect and interested in the human condition in a merciless way. She is always looking for the truest exchange. Did you even try? So I can't tell. We've lost so much knowledge. Our ancient ancestors knew how to light a fire in the rain. They knew how to get water from many different sources. Dad, this wood is really good for feathering. Deborah called me and asked if I would train up the actors, which was such a wonderful experience. Nicole is someone who excels in primitive skills, and that is a really substantial subculture in our country. We worked with Nicole, and it was an intensive survival wilderness education. It's going to keep the heat close to your body. We were learning how to make fires and listening to bird signals and just kind of being alert. It's not a drill. They're soulful individuals who, what they aspire for, no longer fits with the mainstream. Your dad needs to provide you shelter and a place to live. He did. Non-conforming Americans will always be of deep interest because it takes so much to not conform. How did refusing a phone become a big deal in our culture? If we had a phone, it could have called you. I've always been able to communicate without all that. We're so disconnected in this culture from nature, but it's not lost. It's just noisy. So though Will and Tom certainly make a lot of mistakes, these are people searching for connection. Where's your home? With my dad. People are going to come out of that movie with opinions. There's going to be debate. Should we be living in harmony with nature? Should we be living in modern household? What does it mean to raise a child in a way that is acceptable? What I like for people that enjoy a story that I might put out in the world is to leave it asking questions.